definitely, uh, me being from Tennessee uh, and not being used to this rule set, it, to me, it's a, always a curiosity to me. So here we go, touch of the gloves. Both of these men uh, primarily in black, but it's the black and white for Escal. It's the black and blue for Dunham, who leads off with a big kick, answered by Escal. Yeah, I mean, they're throwing. I mean, you, you can hear you can hear these kicks. I mean, they, they, there's, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of thud going on. Pads are not. Guys are kicking, both kicking a, a lot here earlier. And a takedown, but he ends up on top is uh, oh, maybe oh. taking his back even. Oh, is Michael oh. Dunham. Well, if he can, he's, he, he, he's really high. He's really high right now. Oh, he's got an arm. Looking for an arm bar. And I've seen him finish with a belly down arm bar in one of his fights that I saw on YouTube. So this belly down arm bar is something he has had success with. Oh, he's just out the back. Oh, oh, the transition. Nice wrestling from Escal. Yeah. Good scramble. It is a good scramble as uh, he does manage to get his guard though. A little bit better position now for Escal as uh, we, we settle in here and you know Dunham, I'm, I'm sure he's gonna be working the, the ground and pound of the body here as uh, as as Christian tries to sweep or, or to get up. Or submit him if, if, he, if he can. Yeah, I mean that that that's in, in at this point it's almost like a jujitsu match. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It, it, it's you can kind of really soften them up a little bit to the body, but, but right. you know, otherwise you're, you're looking to submit. A little, combo, little, little, little combat sambo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As we are uh, set for three-minute rounds here, almost to the halfway point of this first one. As it is Michael Dunham uh, in the guard of Christian Escal. I mean, Some body I shots mean, it, here. It, 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 it's Escal's smiling. He is. He's smiling. He's just like, are you serious right now? Of course, Dunham having two fights. After this fight, he will be able to advance, yes. if you will. Yes. Win or lose. Body shots here. Um, and you know, actually, from what I've gathered, I think both of Dunham's first two fights, one was in Tennessee, one was in South Carolina. So I think this may even be his first time having to fight with this rule set. Well, he's doing, a, pretty he's doing job. a great job of it so far. I mean, to fight other, to fight in other places, like you said, mm -hmm. has got to be challenging because, like, you, the rule sets are so different that you could get disqualified mm -hmm. and not do and do so unintentionally, mm -hmm. just instinctually. Yes. As uh, we're under a minute to go here in this first round, Michael Dunham pounding away at the body of Christian Escal, and um, at the moment, kind of uh, putting a stamp on this first round, I believe. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when you look at the, when you look at the control time, when you look at the activity. Passing over into half guard now, and he, and and also submission attempts. So it's not like he's just sitting. Mm -hmm. You know, he's he's doing something with the position, but with no punches to the head, it it, it makes it a little more interesting. Mm -hmm. As we're down to the final 15 seconds here, Michael Dunham uh, been on top for about two minutes of this of this third round, give or take. Yeah. As uh, we get a little scramble at the end, but oh, oh wait wait wait, I see I see he's grabbing it. Oh no, he couldn't get it. Mm -hmm. A little, too, little too late. A little too, little too late here yeah. to get right, the end of the first round Chess here. Match going. I believe Michael Dunham probably banks that one. Yep. But it's early. Still two rounds to go. Yeah. Let's see what the conditioning of these gentlemen looks like here as we get ready to head into our second round of three. Well, when you, if you're looking at him, Dunham, of course, is the more active fighter. So he looks, he's the more winded fighter. His opponent isn't, I don't, is he sweating? It doesn't appear to be sweating very heavily. <laughs> not very much, yeah. I'm looking like, he's, he's not, I, I, I don't think he's even broken a sweat. So I mean, at that point, I mean, he's, he's seriously just like, oh, okay, I got it. Yeah. Now, what I'm interested in is when we see a completely different Escobar this round. Almost yeah. like a round of feeling out, literally. Mm -hmm. We'll see what he's got. Yeah. We'll see what he can do. How does this guy feel on top he of was me? Really, he was really comfortable down there. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, he was. He was. There wasn't a whole lot of urgency necessarily to, to, to get up, so it seemed like he was comfortable. But you don't want to get too complacent in that or in, in that position or the, the rounds get away from you. We're getting ready to go to our second round here. This one brought to us by Garden City Social, Travis, our after party tonight. Oh, can't wait. Can't wait. People come on out. Touch of the glove starts our second round and a nice body kick to open once again from Michael Dunham. Esquial comes in with a kick but uh, gets off balance and ends up with Dunham on top of him in half guard now with his back kind of pinned up against the cage. All it takes is that one, that one slip, that one off balance, you know. Dunham has got uh, Christian kind of, kind of trapped over here um, against the cage where He's not able to do a whole lot. He can't pivot around to use the cage to, to kick off just yet. No. Still in the half 
guard and looking to maybe attack a choke potentially for a moment. It looked like as he maybe pass over into side control. Well, it, it, it's and we're back up. I gotta say the transitions have been interesting. I mean, they definitely have. Oh, that was a good, oh. Some nice shots there landed by Michael Dunham, followed by a big knee to the body. And this clinch here go the, the scramble oh, goes in the direction that. of Christian Escal. Escal is, is, is hey, I mean he kind of just was able to just push him over there at the at the last minute there. Yeah. And now he's in the full guard of Michael Dunham working the body of his own. And maybe uh, you know we're in a position similar to the last round where if he can end the fight or in the round rather in this position to even up this the score. Oh yeah, that, that will definitely put these in a stalemate for sure. Looks like uh, Dunham working for some things here though to sweep potentially. Yeah, uh, wait, 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 is that arm? Yeah. Oh. Okay. He, used to, he was trying to work with maybe a Kimura to try to sweep it. Right. Uh, it looks like it did not work just yet as Christian Escal is still on top. Yeah, he's Guard open right now for Michael Dunham. Interesting that Escal is not trying to pass. I mean, is he now an arm bar, uh, yeah. a belly down arm bar we talked about in the first round. Yeah, you, you said he's, he's used it before to finish. Yeah. But he ends up uh, losing position as Escal is able to, to move over to the side, side mount now with less than one minute to go. Well, he seems, he and seems a lot oh, He jumped in, going oh. for full mount, takes his back. Oh, goes all that the way was around. different. That was different. Slick move there from Christian Escal, as now he has the back of Michael Dunham in probably the most dominant position of the fight and that we've seen a, this far. And he's got a little bit of time to work, and he's trying to flatten him out. Mm -hmm, 34 if seconds. That, if he can get that other hook in. We'll see if Dunham's able to turn into him and wind up on top here. It looks like, it looks like that may happen. Yes, yes. And now Dunham on top again. Yes. Half guard. And 18 seconds to go. We'll see if he's able to do enough damage in this last 18 seconds to, to overtake what Escal's done throughout the second round. But Escal really came on. I thought he did too. Uh, Escal's going to end the round on his back, but in my opinion, did enough to, to bank that round, yeah. which would put us at one apiece. Yeah. But again, uh, we again, we know nothing. <laughs> that certainly could be could be wrong. But uh, for entertainment's sake, I'm going to call it one to one going to yeah. the third round. I would I would have to agree with you on that fully, fully. That 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 again, the ground game, and it's crazy that you would think that it wouldn't be that pivotal of a or, or a pointy end of a thing, you know in this level of fighting. But as you can see, you know, that groundwork, that control time, I mean, it, it, it's definitely paying dividends. Yeah, that round, uh, kind of kind of a uh, reverse of the first round, um, as most of it spent with Esquial attacking um, from the top or even having the back of Dunham. So we'll see if that momentum carries into the third or if there's adjustments made in the Fagler's corner here to, to, to take this third and final round. Should be anybody's fight, in my opinion. Yeah, they both need it. They both need this round heavily. Uh, again, got to fight to go in the distance. You know, so who's got the conditioning at this point? Round three, touch of the gloves. This gal in the black and uh, white with the uh, blue uh, tape, the red tape on Dunham, the black and blue shorts. Oh, oh big right hand drops. Right this hand. Dunham drops with a big right. Oh, and wait, wait, wait. We, we've got some. Oh, I'm not sure what's what, what, happening what here. Happened? A timeout what, called. Was it a mouthpiece? Maybe? Was it a butt? I couldn't have been a butt ahead. It looked like it knocked him down. It's a point being taken here oh. by referee Jimmy oh. Neely, oh. and I still was haven't it figured a, out exactly why. Was it, what is it, a potential a pro, a strike, maybe a strike to the head, or because I, I, I Well, I they can strike it. to the head standing, uh, and maybe it was a headbutt that I missed, or an elbow maybe, maybe. Could, uh, have, been, yeah. could have been an elbow. Because now we're. Because it was uh, quick. It, it was quick. Yeah, yeah, it looked to me like he dropped him, but Jimmy's a lot closer than we are in there. Yeah. As now Dunham has gotten Esquial down and into uh, a half guard. Yeah, yeah. And we are uh, just over two minutes to go in this uh, third round. It'll be interesting to see if uh, Dunham can keep him here. Firing away with big right big hands to the, to the left really, side really of Esquial. Two minutes to go here. 
And uh, one would think if he can if he can stay on top from here and, uh, and ride this one out, he, he probably would get the decision, I would think. Yeah, yeah, I would, I, I would definitely think so. And I, again, we don't know time. what happened with that point deduction, no. though. That changes everything. Yes, it, it does. It really does. Eskiel hooking the leg here, trying to improve can, his position. Can turn this and take advantage of that that point. Oh, this fight's different. Yeah, hundred percent. And it, you know, it, assuming that it was one to one going to this third round, and uh, assuming that Dunham finishes this round on top and, and gets the round, then that that point deduction will put us at a draw. <laughs> but uh, again, we we, we we put the disclaimer on. What do we know? No, we, we know we know nothing. All we know is a point was deducted, and so that's going to affect the scoring at the end. We've got a minute to go here. Dunham still working from the top. Esquial trying to trying to minimize uh, you know the, the gap that that Dunham has to do damage. Trying to trying to elevate well, him off of him. There's got to be some from, from Esquial. There's got to be some, some urgency. Yeah, he's got to go. Point, less I mean, than a minute. Less than a minute to go. He's bent on his back. Now, mind you, he's, he, his transitions when he can are there. Like he's 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 he's, he's look, oh oh he's straightening. He's going for a straight ankle lock. Yeah, so. and, and, and knee bar. It's knee a knee bar. bar yeah. Knee bar. Oh man, I can't tell how deep that is to tell you the truth. I don't know. It's it's, it's deep. He he gave it up though. He gave oh. it up. Yeah, man, oh. that was definitely a threatening spot there for Barry, Dunham. Stay Barry. composed though through that knee bar attempt, and yes, uh, and he ends up coming out on mount, so yeah. full mount, dominant position, uh, with only 15 seconds left to go in this contest. It looks like Dunham may uh, may put himself in position for a draw. We'll see. Yeah. That point just up. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm, I'm intrigued on what that point deduction was. Yeah, really me, me as well. Because it happened in the blink of an eye. It did. And, and regardless, you know, he still kind of dropped him. And does that play, you know, does the judges still kind of see right, that as, like, a big I, moment? Was that a knockdown? Mm -hmm. uh, right hands to the body finish off this round. We're going to a decision. Be very curious to see how this one uh, shakes out. I, I'm over one on predictions. I'm going to say it's a draw after the point deduction. That's, that's my guess. I mean, I would, I would go with the draw, but if you couldn't go with the draw, where would you go? If the point deduction hadn't happened, then I, I think Dunham took it two to one. Yes, yes. Here we go. Here's, here is I, where I assume we had that uh, foul. I don't, I, I don't see, I, I, unless it happened before that. I, I, I didn't. I, yeah, nothing there looked out of line to me. There I wasn't an elbow. There wasn't a headbutt. But there, and, and, there, and the corner didn't. Here Nobody. we go again. Here we go again. Okay. Let's see. Whoop, whoop. I, I mean, I know. Just bizarre. It really, really was. Okay, here we go. One more time. Low kick. What does what does Dunham do here? Okay. I'm watching. So, uh, maybe he misses nothing. with that one. Comes over with a big right hand. Drops him. At this was point, right here. Okay. Oh, oh ground pound to the head. head. Ground pound to the head. He, he hit yes. him in the head as he went yes. down. Well, yes. we had a bad angle to see exactly right. what happened as he right. went down. So right. he ground. He, you're not allowed to ground and pound to the head. He did. They're told about this in the rules yep. meeting. Mom, this is one of those situations Mom where Venom got him. With Dunham having his first couple fights not under these rules. Right. Yeah. So nothing malicious, uh, in no. my opinion, from Dunham no. there. Probably going to have a draw if I had yeah. to guess. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he would have probably needed that to be a 10-8 yeah. to, to come out on, on the right side. But, yeah, we'll see, you know, maybe uh, the, the maybe the judges will see it differently. I don't know. Yeah, tough luck for Dunham if it does end up being a draw. I mean, again, either way, great second fight. Yeah, yeah, really good. All right, let's take it up to Jeff Hobbs. Let's get the official word. All right, Augusta, Georgia, Bell Auditorium. We are headed to a judge's scorecard. All three of your judges saw this about the same 29-27 for your winner by unanimous decision and out of the red corner, Michael Dunham! So that wow. means they would have given all three rounds to Michael Dunham. The second round we thought may have gone the other way to Christian, but that means the judges gave all three rounds to Michael Dunham. You take the point off, that's where we get the 29-27. In order to get that.